I need your advice on how to fix an iPad in DFU mode. The irony is that iPad repairs often start with putting it in DFU mode. I've heard of the iPad sometimes getting stuck in DFU or recovery mode after updating to a new iOS release. I did not recently update it. That couldn't be it. The same solution from Apple may work. Connect the iPad to a computer with iTunes, force restart it by holding down both home and sleep wake, then select to update. That's assuming the new update solves what the last update did. So try to restore it. I'll lose my data. That's why they say backup early and often. And if trying to update takes more than 15 minutes, you'll have to come back and run a restore anyway. What do you do when you're restoring it? After you do the restore, run through the setup again. Then I get back to restoring it from my last backup. Now if you are getting DFU mode problems and can't get out because buttons are broken, you need to see Apple's geniuses. Sure, because whatever caused hardware failures that bad likely caused the software glitch too. I've heard of people having to do a hardware reset to get past the DFU or restore error though it may tell you to connect to iTunes. That's where connecting it to a computer with working iTunes is the solution, as is restoring it at that point. If you get the phone restored, then you should make sure the iTunes version is up to the latest version. I've heard there are whole other problems and solutions if it is stuck during an update or restore. I've heard of the solution of turning off the iPad, plugging in a USB cable to the computer but not the iPad, holding down home and wake to force it off. Hold down home as you plug in the USB cable, and when you see connect to home, let go of home. That basically forces it to reset and then connect after the cycling to re-recognize the connection. If you started the iPad in recovery mode by mistake, you can do a hard reset to exit recovery mode if there's nothing else wrong. I hope that after all of this there is nothing else wrong. If nothing else is wrong, then after 15 minutes, it should exit recovery mode by itself. I know being stuck in recovery mode is a problem in and of itself. If the system isn't stuck in recovery but really, really slow, look at settings, general, usage and start closing what you don't need. That's one of the things you do to prevent it needing to be rebooted or reset. You also need to practice setting of hitting home twice and swiping to close apps you aren't using. That's only to prevent the errors that cause it to crash in the first place. If you installed a jailbreaking tool or jailbroken apps and it now got stuck in DFU mode, you need to do the restore to undo the damage of the jailbreaking and remove the apps and jailbreak tools to get it working again. Or at least get it working again long enough to restore and get Apple support to double check.